What's up guys, this is Adam from Think Computers and this is the overview of the Case Labs Merlin SM8. The SM8 is a full tower which puts it pretty comparable in size to the NZXT Switch 810. Um, it's a little bit shorter in height but it's just as long uh, but it's also substantially wider which gives you a ton of room to work with. Um, in the front you can see that we have a power reset, 1, 2, 3, 4 USB 3.0s and HD audio. You can also see that the entire front of the, uh, the entire front panel is ventilated. Now that is a choice we made when we ordered our configuration for the SM8. Uh, if you don't want ventilated, you can have solid metal at the front, not an issue at all. The reason we went for ventilated is because we're going to be putting a water cooled system in here, um, and I'm going to have a radiator in the front of the case, so need a little bit of airflow to help with the cooling there. With regards to uh, the mounting mechanisms in the front, Case Labs use a unique system called FlexBase. Um, basically, when you order a case normally, you have a designated area for 5.25-inch uh, drives, 3.5-inch hard drives, or 2.5-inch um, solid-state drives. And that's it. You can put them there, and that's it. With Case Labs, you can put them wherever you want, so long as it is in the front. There are numerous accessories in their store, and we happen to have one of them, which is a 360mm radiator mount, which I'll show you when we get inside the case. Okay then guys, moving on to the side of the case, the first thing you're going to notice is the very large window. Standard, the window supplied on the uh, Merlin SM8 is a little smaller, um, but if you want a bigger one, you just configure that when you're buying a case. Because we have so much pretty hardware we want to show you, uh, we did ask Case Labs to give us a larger one, and they were so very nice in giving us that. Opening the side panel is very easy. Put your fingers in here, give it a pull, and out it comes. It does lock in tight, so it's not one of those things that takes very little effort to open, so it's going to stay closed unless you actually want it open. Um, you can see that we added an AX1200i. I've left that in there because I wanted to show you that even with one of the larger power supplies on the market at the moment, the SMA still has so much room to work with. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cable routing holes, which is more than sufficient for routing your cables effectively. Our motherboard tray is in a reverse ATX configuration. Uh, we chose that because it's still pretty different um, to what is the current configuration on the market. Uh, we have seen a couple of cases come out with reverse ATX recently. Silverstone's PS07 and the Azatec 9000, they spring to mind, but there are more. By being reverse ATX, the CPU uh, cutout is at the bottom, which is where your CPU is going to be because the motherboard is upside down. You also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 expansion slots. All motherboard uh, installation hardware, like standoffs and mounting screws, are provided by Case Labs, which is great. Hanging down here you can see the accessory bar. This is an optional extra, um, but it allows you to mount things wherever you want in the case and gives you just that extra bit of flexibility. We're going to be putting our reservoir on here. We're going to try and line it up with the edge of the door so it just sort of looks like it's hovering when you look inside, which should be pretty awesome. Now you can put the accessory bar horizontally or vertically, so you really do have a lot of potential for extra spots for that. Okay guys, we're now behind the motherboard tray. Uh, as you can see, your nine cable routing holes are still fully accessible. The motherboard tray is right here. Remember, we're in reverse ATX, so this might look a little backwards if you're used to standard configuration. At the front there, you have all the cabling for the front panel. So you have your four USB 2.0s and HD audio, as well as power and reset. Now along the top, from top to bottom right here, there is room to mount hard drives, which is really cool if you want to keep your hard drives out of view and literally just show off the pretty hardware rather than all that gross hard drive cable. There's room for a 3.5 inch drive here, another 3.5 inch drive here, and two 2.5 inch drives stacked on top of each other right here. Okay then guys, we're now at the rear of the case and it does look fairly standard at first glance and you can't really expect much else really. It's the rear of a case. However, there are a few features on the back which do not come with most cases, and in fact one of my favourite features of the SM8 is available to you here. The first thing of note is the fact that you can actually mount two power supplies concurrently, one in the bottom, one in the top. If you only want to run one, 
Case Labs provides you with this little aluminum backplate that you can cover up the other hole with so that you don't just have a nasty hole at the back of your case. Now, my, as I said, one of my favorite features is back here, and I'm going to show you what that is. Here are four self-retaining thumb screws. You unscrew these. And the motherboard tray slides right off. So you can install your system in here, get everything prepped and ready and how you want it, and then you can literally slide it back into the case and then do your wiring and you're good to go. Another cool thing about this is you can actually attach four feet to it. Uh, case apps provide those in the shipping package that they send. And then it becomes like a freestanding miniature test bench, which is awesome. Super easy to put it back in, just make sure you line up the rails right. And the thumb screws will never get lost because they are self retaining another nifty little attention to detail feature that I absolutely love. Very, very quickly guys, I just wanted to go over the top of the case. Um, when you order the case from Case Labs, you have three choices. You can either get integrated radiator mounts at 480 or 420 millimeters, or the third choice is a drop-in mount. Now what that does is that leaves this radiator mount section completely bare, and then the plate, which you can see we have attached, you can get separately for 480 or 420 millimeters, and it allows you to install the radiator out of the case. If you've water cooled before and you've used a big radiator, you know that holding the, ra the, the rad while screwing in the top with a multitude of fans attached to it can be very tricky, especially since if you screw in too far into a radiator, you can completely damage the course. You want to make sure you get it right. What this does, you can install it out of the case, make sure everything's perfect, and then drop it in, hence the name drop-in mount, attach the six screws, and you're good to go. So that completely alleviates that annoying issue when installing in tops of cases. Really, really innovative, great idea from Case Labs. And again, just that attention to detail that I mentioned earlier. Okay then guys, just to wrap the video up, I wanted to point out a few things. The first is the SMA has zero rivets. Um, if you're a normal case user, that probably doesn't matter. But if you're a modder or an enthusiast that happens to disassemble their case to you know, drill new holes or cut sections out. The fact there are no rivets in this case make the modding so much easier. It's very easy to take the panels off. They literally have these metal pins that pop into these little slots right here. So it's literally just to give it a gentle pull and it will come right off. There's so much room inside the SM8 that you can, you can fit a pretty crazy cooling setup. Um, you could fit a 480 millimeter in the top or a 420. Uh, a 360 in the front, 240 in the bottom. Um, case labs do also have an accessory that you can mount your power supply onto the accessory bar, which again is this thing right here. So that if you wanted to do that, you could put a 480 in the top and a 480 in the bottom. It's just crazy. Uh, this has been the Think Computers overview of the Merlin SM8. Uh, if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe, and there will be a lot more to follow in the coming days, weeks, months, years.